artists, today we're going to draw and paint this sun. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paint brushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for this style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first thing we're going to do is start with the middle of the sun. So we're going to draw a big circle. If you have something round at your house that you want to trace, you can do that. Or you can just kind of freehand it and do your best. doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Okay, next we're going to start on these rays on the outside. So for the rays, we're just going to draw kind of curved lines into points all around your sun. And then meet back here. Just like that. Now that you have your first ray, all you have to do is kind of copy the same one. So we'll start at this point, right above this point, and go swoop right to this point. And then all the way around, we're going to do the exact same thing. After you do that, you can do it one more time for one last ray. Again, start just a little bit up and swoop all around your sun. Just like that. All right, once you're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and start on the sunglasses. So we'll start maybe about here on our sun, so not halfway, but a little bit higher. Kind of curve, just like this for the start. And then we're gonna curve the opposite way like this on both sides. So we'll have a shape like that. Then about maybe this much down, kind of draw like the middle of the sunglasses there. And then we'll start at this corner, swoop up and meet that. And then the same for the other side. You want it to try to be about the same size on both sides of your sunglasses, but it's okay if it's not perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and draw the middle part of the sunglasses. So for that, you just go down a little bit from the line and kind of keep the same, same amount on both or on all the sides here. You can erase any extra pencil marks if you want, or we can just ignore those for when we do the marker. But we're gonna go ahead and do the other side as well, the same thing, just this kind of shape on the inside of the sunglasses here. Okay, you should end with something like that. Next, we're gonna draw two little eyebrows, like that, a nose, I just did a little oval nose and then a smile. So kind of a curved line like this, and a curved line this way. And then we have our sun. So next thing we're gonna do is take our Sharpie and we're gonna go around all of those pencil marks that we just made. You can make some of these outside lines a little bit thicker, even the sun and the sunglasses. That makes things appear a little bit closer and makes them stand out. But then the inside lines will just keep a little bit um, smaller. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do our Sharpie marks and then we will move on to the next step. All right, I'm all done with my Sharpie. I did go ahead and add some of these lines in the middle of the sunglasses to make it look a little darker. You can do that too if you want, but you don't have to, that's totally up to you. After you're done though, we can go ahead and take our eraser and we'll erase any pencil marks that we can still see before we go on to paint. All right, I'm all done with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a paintbrush here. We're gonna start on the rays. You can also grab a paper towel in case you need it to blot off some paint or whatever you may need. So we're gonna start with this outside ray, which is a yellow color. 
You can do it however you want, whatever color you like. We're just gonna fill that in. So I just made my brush wet and grabbed some paint. And we're just gonna fill this in. We're not doing a whole lot of shading here with this, these rays. So we're just gonna fill in. Another way you can do it is just make it wet with some water and then grab your paint and put it on. Either way works. All right, I'm done with that outside ray. So I also have yellow on this inside ray. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill that in too with that same yellow color. on this top part here and then we'll be done with this part okay next I'm gonna let that dry a little bit while we work on the inside of the sunglasses I'm actually gonna take a little bit of a smaller brush and I used a dark gray color for that so I'm just gonna go ahead grab some of that dark gray and again there's not a lot of shading here so we're just gonna you can also use black. We're just gonna fill in here, grab some water and smooth it out. I'm gonna do the other side here. You can make yours a gray or a really dark black. You could even make your the inside of your sunglasses a different color if you wanted. All right, next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and do this last ray since this had a little bit of time to dry here. Um, so this next ray is orange. I'm just gonna grab our orange and fill in that and go back to my bigger brush actually. We're almost to the other side here. If you get out of line a little bit, that's okay. You can even take your paintbrush and rinse it off and kind of blend it in like this. You can pick up some of that paint with your wet brush and wipe it on your paper towel. I like to do that when I make a mistake. All right, next thing we're gonna do is the inside of the sun. So the inside of the sun here is actually orange and yellow. So what I did for that is I went ahead and did the, the yellow first. So we're gonna fill in this inside part with yellow like this. And go around the nose and around the sunglasses. Like that. Now I'm going 
gonna rinse off my brush a little and we're gonna pick up some orange while that's still wet and we're just gonna do around the outside and that makes it a little bit darker just on the edges kind of like shading you can even put some under his glasses this would be a little darker there and then we just blend it in a little You can see there's a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow in that middle section. All right, I'm gonna go back to my smaller brush. I'm gonna fill in his nose with the orange. You gotta be careful since that, that part's still wet. So we don't want it to touch or it'll start bleeding through. So just fill that in carefully. And then we'll go ahead and do the sunglasses, which I have as red. You can do a different color if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with red for mine. So again, not a lot of shading, so we're just gonna go ahead and pick up our color, and start filling in those sunglasses. You can see my red's not super red. It's more like a pink color. That's because with watercolor, you have to add layers sometimes to get the dark color that you want. So if you let this dry and you add another layer, it'll be even darker. But even just me putting another layer on while it's still wet is making it darker. But definitely, if you want it real dark, let it dry and then put another layer on. Okay. Just going to do a little bit of this here. Add some finishing touches here and then I think I'm all done with my sun. If you enjoyed doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. I'll see you next time. Bye.